Welcome back, Supernatural fans. The youngest and tallest Winchester has been through many incarnations since the first season. Join us as we rank them from worst to best and relive the thrilling moments that define the multifaceted character of Sam Winchester. Let's dive in. Number 12, Hunter Corp Sam. The finale season of Supernatural has spent a lot of time delving into the alternate universes, and fans were pleasantly surprised to see an alternate version of Sam and Dean appear in the bunker. These Hunter Corp versions of Sam and Dean are wealthy, pretentious, uptight, and very pedantic about their looks. The man bun wearing Sam is a lot more snobby and ridiculous. Number 11, Vampire Sam. In season 15, Chuck showed Sam a future without hope. A future where Chuck no longer held back the monsters and they won the fight against hunters. In Sam's version, both brother become vampires. This face of Sam's looks very different than his human face. His chin protrudes, his eyebrows look farther apart and darker, and his nose looks more prominent than usual. Sam helplessly watched as his future self-terrorized and killed his friends before dying himself. The date is December 9, 2022. The end of Sam and Dean's timeline, if they trap Chuck. Number 10, Leviathan Sam. Cloned by the Leviathans, Sam and Dean's doubles went on a killing spree to try to get the real brothers arrested. Since the duplicates took the exact form of their victims, Leviathan Sam trained himself to have the same expressions, posture, voice, and other physical traits as the real deal. Only their actions and attitudes set them apart, that and their clothes. I admit to using wardrobe as a clue to tell them who was who in each scene. Number nine, Wicked Sam. Unbelievably, at one point in his life, two different supernatural entities possessed Sam's body at the same time in the battle of supercharged witch versus recuperating angel versus mere mortal, wicked witchcraft won, and Sam became a puppet for the wicked witch of Oz. Unless I'm mistaken, Sam was the only character to experience possession by a demon, the devil, an angel, and a witch, giving him the personas and faces that glowed with black, red, blue, and green eyes an amazing acting challenge for Jared and a 15-year horror story for Sam. Number eight, Sam Wesson. In Supernatural season four, we got the chance to see what life would be like for Sam and Dean if they weren't hunters or even brothers. Well, okay, it was a version the angel Zachariah created, but still an intriguing version. While this was actually about Dean, we got to see a hunting-focused Sam. There was this chance to see him eager to hit the road and save people. In a way, he was a version of Sam we could have seen him being had he not been forced into the world of hunting by his dad. Number seven, Ezekiel Sam. With the best of intentions and after taking every possible precaution, Dean tricked Sam into being possessed by an angel named Ezekiel. At first, this was a match made in heaven as Ezekiel saved the lives of Sam, Charlie, and Castiel. But eventually, Ezekiel was revealed to be Godriel, a vulnerable angel who was corrupted by Metatron. Godriel used Sam's body to kill innocents, including Kevin. For eight tumultuous episodes, Dean, Sam, and Godriel battled for agency of Sam's body. Finally, with Crowley's help, Sam prevailed and cast Godriel out of his mind. Number six, Demon Blood Sam. My feelings for this incarnation of Sam are similar to those I had about Ezekiel Sam. This version represented a lot of things that were going wrong during that time. Sam was talked into drinking blood by Ruby and it turned him into a different person who was scary and not in a good way. Sure, he was kind of ripped and looked pretty good when he was on the Demon Blood, but that was about the only positive side of this version, at least for me. Number five. Body Swap Sam. One day, Sam found himself swapped into the body of a teenager and that teenager inhabiting his meat suit. The swap made for some absolutely hysterical moments. And though I realized it wasn't actually a version of Sam because Sam wasn't in his body, I still had to add it to my list. Part of the fun of seeing different versions of Sam is seeing how Padalecki plays those versions. 
and teenage Sam was a triumph. Tadalecki captured that spirit of a kid and made us believe that a teenager had truly taken up residence in his long and lanky body. Number four, Demon Meg Sam. This version of Sam was the first time we got to see the younger Winchester with someone else inside his body. It took a while to realize that something was off, but once I did, I couldn't help but be enthralled by him. Meg Sam was frightening, and yet I couldn't keep my eyes off of him because I had to know what he was going to do next. I still remember gasping in terror when he slammed Joe's head into the bar. In that moment, I had no idea what was going to happen next and how far he would go, and I have to admit it was thrilling. Number three, Lucifer Sam. Out of all the possible faces for Sam, how many of you thought of this face first? Hauntingly alluring, we all met Sam Affair in Dean's vision of the future in season five, the end. That apocalyptic prophecy scared Dean so deeply, he put aside his doubts and went back to working alongside his brother to defeat Lucifer. Sam and Dean did everything they could to prevent Sam from being possessed by Lucifer, but they couldn't stop fate. Months later, in season five Swan Song, Sam willingly accepted possession in a desperate ploy to avoid becoming the Antichrist who would destroy the world. Note that in Swan Song, Jared recreated the same look of patronizing pity that Samifer displayed in Dean's vision of the future. The reality followed the vision as Lucifer's condescending complacency turned to rage over the brother's continual interference. It is said that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Possessed Sam eventually won the battle with Lucifer and in a final face of acceptance, cast both of them into hell. To Sam's horror, his triumph wasn't the end of Samifer. In season 15, Sam and Dean were tortured with the recurring nightmare of Sam willingly joining with Lucifer, not to defeat the devil, but instead to embrace his supernatural power. Number two, soulless Sam. When Sam was rescued from Lucifer's cage, he came home missing a vital part of himself, his soul. I enjoyed this version of Sam because, well, he was kind of a badass. He didn't waste time worrying about anyone else's feelings and just did what he needed to do to get the job done. While I don't think he necessarily always made the best decisions, he was still a blast to watch. Plus, he was hilarious. Hands down, I think, RoboSam had the best sense of humor of all of them. Number one, regular Sam. After all these other manifestations, coming back down to regular, plain old Sam might seem going backwards, but the truth is that no matter how mesmerizing these other versions are, nothing beats the original. Sam Winchester is a man who has grown up before our eyes, from the law student who wanted nothing to do with the hunter's life to the hunter who has been through so much, it would make another man weep. Yet, he always does his best to keep that integrity we saw in him in season one and, like his brother Dean, tries to do everything for the greater good. In a word, Sam Winchester is a true hero. That makes 12 different versions of our beloved Sam Winchester. Are there more? Show off your genius below or simply let us know what you thought of the different versions of Sam, which version of Sam sent chills down your spine, and which made you laugh out loud, let us know in the comments below. Remember, no matter how many shades of Sam we explore, the heart and heroism of the original Sam Winchester will always shine through. If you enjoyed this video and want more supernatural goodness, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help us grow. Stay tuned for more exciting content, trivia quizzes, and deep dives into the Winchester Brothers universe. When it comes to supernatural, there's always more to discover. Thanks for watching and keep embracing the Winchester legacy 